My name is Alana Paul and I'm the Environmental Compliance Specialist at Mesoamerica Energy and my job entails ensuring that all of our projects are in complete compliance with environmental legislation, making sure that we have no environmental impact or low environmental impact and ensuring that we're in complete compliance with environmental legislation in each of the countries within which we work. Tenemos un planteamiento respetuoso del área o la zona donde vamos a instalar el proyecto. Nuestro planteamiento es ambientalmente sólido, ya que buscamos siempre la protección del medio ambiente, el mejoramiento de ella. Protegemos fuentes de agua, aves, árboles. Ten intentamos hacer las cosas de forma que tengan el menor impacto posible o un impacto positivo. The beauty of wind energy is that it's a clean, renewable, and zero emission energy source. So when you compare it to other energy sources, it does not emit waste, and it does not contribute to climate change. Our headquarters are here. We have projects in Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and our project in Honduras. The Cerro Lula project is located uh, about 26 kilometers south of Tegucigalpa, which is the capital city of, of Honduras. Where you see this mountain range up here, this is the Cerro de la Mountain Range. Um, our project is right to the side of that. Everything in this green area is the concession area. We have the exclusive rights to develop all of the wind resources in this area. Nuestro país, Honduras, al igual que Nicaragua y incluso El Salvador y Guatemala, eh, dependemos bastante de la energía térmica. Para el caso de Honduras, el 70% de la energía es generada con energía térmica, 30% con energía renovable. Esa alta dependencia de la generación térmica, especialmente de búnker, es una pérdida para el país en el sentido de la fuga de divisas que tenemos debido a las altas facturas petroleras que tenemos que pagar. Necesitamos cambiar la forma en que usamos el planeta. Tenemos que vivir de una forma que no atacamos el planeta, sino que vivimos en armonía con ella. Y eso no es la realidad actual. En este caso, el proyecto de Cerro Diula de 100 megavatios es un proyecto de mucho interés para la ENE, para el gobierno de Honduras, en el sentido de, de que toda esa energía nos va a liberar, aunque sea en algo, la dependencia que tenemos con el petróleo. As in any country, Honduras has its own environmental regulator. And this is the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. And they require any energy project to do an environmental impact assessment. In an effort to meet international environmental impact standards, we went ahead and took the extra step to go beyond national legislation and wanted to include additional studies to just a minimal environmental impact assessment. These studies included an avian assessment, a forestry study, a shadow flicker study, a background sound study, and an archaeological study. I'm Caleb Gordon. I'm with Pandion Systems. We're doing a uh, what's called a pre-construction risk characterization for uh, the wind farm here. And uh, the main thing we do is we come and characterize the bird and bat fauna of the site and try to use that information of what's here to develop some kind of predictions for what kinds of risks might be associated with the wind farm. Of all the environmental issues that can potentially be generated by a wind farm, it's collisions with flying wildlife that really has emerged as the most important environmental impact of a wind farm. In fact, wind farms are very low environmental impact development projects for the sort of size and scope of the projects. They tend to have a small development footprint. We determine what species of birds and bats are here and develop predictions for what kind of risks might be associated for collision mortalities with the wind farm. My name is Roger Rodriguez of Zotz Ecological Solutions. Um, I was subcontracted to Pandian Systems to uh, do a bat survey on the um, Mesoamerica uh, Honduras Wind Project site. Um, currently I'm, I'm misnetting bats to document the species um, that are in this area. Um, right now I just caught this bat I'm taking out of this net, what's called a mist net. Um, and this appears to be a southern yellow bat that I will capture and hold on and take, and, uh, take measurements and document its, its presence here in the project area.
one year avian and bat assessment is, is much more detailed and will help us understand better um, any impact that the project could have on migration routes or nesting zones for birds and bats in the area. Oh, and there's a meadow lark right next to it. See, S like sitting right on top of it. In any one five minute survey, I might observe anywhere from two to 20 or 40 or maybe a flock of birds of a handful of species, but you put that together with 120 point count surveys and it's quite a comprehensive characterization of all the birds that are here at this site. And then for any birds that are flying above canopy level, I write down how high they are. The mortality and susceptibility of particular birds and bats is not a simple function of seeing what's there. Uh, it really has to do with a lot of the behavioral intricacies of what the birds do, how visually perceptive they are, how maneuverable they are, as well as how much time do they spend flying at rotor swept altitude. And then with both the bats and the birds, what we do is we apply that to any information from technical literature or anything that's known about wind farms to date that might give us clues about susceptibility. We conducted a forestry study at Cerro de Ula in order to understand what tree species were in the area and what impact we would have when having to cut down certain trees in order to make room for a turbine placement zone and also access roads that lead to each of the turbines. Mesoamérica Energy is pretending to achieve cumplir con lo establecido en el protocolo de Kioto de los mecanismos de desarrollo limpio. Que quiere decir que no solo estamos dejando de consumir petróleo, sino que a la vez estamos reteniendo carbono a través de la plantación de árboles. Another key component of the forestry study is understanding how we can create our reforestation plan. And this is really based on a ratio of planting 10 trees for every one tree that we have to cut down. Todas estas actividades son coordinadas con las unidades municipales ambientales o UMAS en los dos municipios, Santa Ana y San Buenaventura, y a su vez con las organizaciones locales de cada comunidad involucrada o cercana a los sitios que se pretendan reforestar. For the Cerrudo project, we also conducted a background sound study. The purpose of this study is to really understand what noise levels are present in the community as a result of noise from traffic or children playing in a schoolyard um, or cows mooing and comparing those sound levels to the sound that is expected to be to be produced by turbines when in operation mode. Mesoamerica Energy is an empresa especial por una razón muy importante. Es muy importante para nosotros la forma en que desarrollamos los proyectos. Cada profesional que trabaja en la organización ha sido escogido por su dedicación al medio ambiente, a temas sociales, a sostenibilidad, por tener paciencia, por tener amor a la comunidad local y a traer cambio real.